So today I may be be a proud owner of a new camera. like the, I have the Canon 600D which is DSLR and it has a flip out screen but it doesn't have a continuous autofocus for videos but this does Washing a side of a building. So yeah, now I have the G7X cannons made. As you can see, I don't know, can you see the model? But the model is the second generation so this is the mark 2 which means it should be better as the generation 1 and it has at least what i have noticed a flash then around the camera here you have a zoom you can zoom in and out with using this or you can use uh, th this button here to zoom out and zoom in. This is me switching camera in one, two, three. three. Now the footage what you are seeing is from the Canon uh, G7X Mark II and myself I think this makes a lot better quality video than that phone camera. Like my setup has for a very long time this gimbal 
on a tripod for the camera. Then the phone itself on top of it. And yeah, this folds into a really compact size into this small bag right here. And yeah. I can finally retire my phone from regular use for these videos because smartphone doesn't like to be always on the camera because it tends to a little bit get hot and mine hasn't overheated because of it but it has come quite sometimes pretty close to it because you know that the, that that thing right there doesn't really like to be in a heat. So now that these two videos are synced, this is the quality of the OnePlus 8T's selfie camera, which megapixels I don't know, but I can come up to this camera somewhat close and you can see some of my face's detail. With the Canon, for example, I can come somewhat close and it still picks up a lot more detail than this phone one. So this looks to be a lot better camera suited for this my YouTube usage because, you know, that's a proper camera and this is just a cell phone. And for example, the background blur on this Canon G7X it comes naturally as phones it has such a small sensor and focal lengths that that blur natural blur that occurs on these videos cannot be obtained as easily so this is in that way a lot better so yeah I have a new camera for you guys and it just cost 120 bucks like what a cheap solution i have this bicycle uh, crescent atto that i have and i still have it because it needs a new cassette bracket and with this it should be fixed but first i need to go to ikea and drop off some shelves that i bought for the other house Okay, long story short, I have some new shells in a box that need to be returned back to IKEA. So now it's IKEA time. Someone has a nice Peugeot. Ah, I forgot. That's me. How are we? And people don't know how to open the car door. Hey. Uh, am I speaking the truth? No? No. Me. <laughs> so let's go to IKEA. Oh. bicycle holder stand is in its place I'm just gonna close this and get the bicycle itself which needs the 
cassette sprocket. Someone is selling their house. Don't know who, but someone. At least that, that I know. So yeah, that's the crescent what I was talking about. Uh, she died. But anyway, this is with the white side walls. Just change those. But the problem is the rear sprocket is uh, worn out. So it doesn't hold any gears. Like if I put it in 8, it will jump to 6. Not good. So as you can see, this is the sprocket what I was talking about and these teeth, I don't know if you can see on the video but each and every of these are, like for example there Focus Please, focus So to change out the sprocket is extremely hard but once you got all the all the necessary tools it's really easy actually you just take out this center axle which is going through all of this you this connects to the bicycle so once the axle is out you just need the impact wrench and this special sprocket to take it out you put this in here, then that to here, then you just... Just like that, it's out. You don't even need to have the holding tool. You just have a impact driver, which takes out the old one. And then you can replace it with the new. This cassette sprocket. You have instructions, then you got the eighth gear, and then comes out the sprocket itself. This is the received, and then you take out this, then put it here where it should go. And always in these brockets there's one, one that teeth in this, which is a, a lot wider than all of the rest. As you can see, the, this brocket, all of these gears are about the same width, but then that is extremely wide and it is this one beside the little one. You can see it just right here. That's the, like, there's the wider one, and then this is the wide and the small section. Then you just tighten the nut, which is here, like that. This should be tightened by a wrench. But I have just this, so I'll just make sure it isn't at the full power, and then just like that, a new cassette sprocket on the bicycle works as like new.
So yeah, the camera shut off midway of me putting the wheel back on because the battery is a little bit low. But the rear rim is now on. But I need to adjust this rear derailleur tomorrow. So that's tomorrow's problem.